And now the true tale of the Stinson Curse. Moscow, 1807. What a wonderful night at the opera. Wouldn't you agree, Comrade Barnovsky? I would indeed, Comrade James Sokov. But you know what made it truly wonderful? Being here with my wife. The beat in my borscht, the fur on my hat. The only person I've ever been attracted to, ever. I feel the same way about Kyle. My plutonic friend from work. Is it just me? Or did that feel like we hit an old gypsy woman? Yeah, old gypsy woman. Good call, Bonofsky. Oh, well, she's just a peasant. Holmes man off. Wait, she's saying something. Hornier. 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 So no bavish. Did she just put a curse on us? Ah, nonsense, brother. Okay, let's go, Smirnov. <laughs> Smirnov? Homena, Homenovich. Mm, Smirnov, I would climb you like the Kremlin wall. What's happening to me? Don't you see? You're getting hornier, brother. Just like the old gypsy woman said. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Ever had a white Russian? For the next 200 years, every male member of the Stinson family was afflicted by the gypsy's curse. An unquenchable thirst for booty that no committed relationship could ever satisfy. That is, until my brother James met his husband Tom. The day they got married, they lifted the curse forever, freeing me from the shackles of having sex with lots of different women. <laughs> Although sometimes Robin and I still use the shackles. Bondage five. No, I can't. I can't. I'm not. <laughs> Go for Barney. 